Welcome to Alberta Graveyard. Today we're visiting five cemeteries to remember and celebrate nine remarkable people who are gone, but not forgotten. We're starting our tour in the green pastures of Edenbrook Memorial Gardens, where we'll find four famous graves. First is the final resting place of Zarly Zalapsky. Born in Edmonton, Zarly was a professional hockey player with the Calgary Flames. He was also an integral member of the Canadian hockey team at the 1988 Winter Olympics in Calgary. Zarly Zalapsky passed away in 2017 at 47 years old. A pathologist found that he had suffered from CTE. Nearby is the grave of the great Norman Kwong. Known as the China Clipper, he was the first Chinese Canadian to play in the CFL. His phenomenal career as a fullback included four Grey Cups with Calgary and Edmonton. Born in Calgary, Norman was a successful businessman and part owner of the Calgary Flames, and he was the 16th Lieutenant Governor of Alberta. Recipient of countless awards including the Order of Canada, Norman even had his own coat of arms. One of Alberta's all-time nicest people. Norman Kwong died in his sleep in 2016. He was 86. Right beside Norman, we find the final resting place of John Forzani. Born in Calgary, John won the 1971 Grey Cup as a player with the Calgary Stampeders. In 1974, he opened a small Calgary store called Forzani's Locker Room. By 1994, he had acquired Sports Experts Inc. for $20 million, becoming Canada's largest sporting goods retailer. John Forzani passed away in 2014 from a heart attack. He was 67 years old. His memorial stone says he lived life to the fullest and brought laughter and joy to everyone he met. And right beside John, we find Wayne Thumper Harris. Wayne was an incredible football player. The lineman was drafted by the New England Patriots, but he opted instead to play for 12 years with the Calgary Stampeders. He was named All-Canadian nine times and appeared in three Grey Cups. His jersey number 55 was retired by the team in 1973. Voted as the league's greatest linebacker of all time and ninth best overall player, Wayne was even on a postage stamp. Wayne Thumper Harris passed away in 2015 at age 77. His memorial stone says he is hand in hand throughout eternity with his wife Anne. Our next stop is Calgary's scenic Burns Land Cemetery. In section C we find the final resting place of Cecil Tiny Thompson, a goalie Tiny played 12 seasons in the NHL for the Boston Bruins and Detroit Red Wings. A Stanley Cup winner, Tiny is in the Hockey Hall of Fame. He recorded 81 shutouts, which is the sixth most in league history. Tiny popularized the glove save, and in 1963 was the first NHL goalie to record an assist. Cecil Thompson passed away in 1981, age 77. Despite his achievements, including service with the Royal Canadian Air Force during World War II. His neglected memorial stone here was completely covered over with grass when I arrived, but I managed to find and uncover it in memory of this great man. Our next stop is 40 kilometers south at the beautiful Okotoke Cemetery. In the Heritage Garden section, we find the final resting place of Max Bell. Max founded FP Publications, Canada's largest newspaper syndicate in the 1960s. Buddies with Bing Crosby, Max was a generous philanthropist. The Max Bell Foundation has awarded millions for medical, veterinary, sporting and educational causes. Multiple buildings are named after him, including Calgary's Max Bell Arena. Max passed away in 1972 from a neurological illness. He was 59 years old. Another 130 kilometers south, we'll visit Fort McLeod's Serene Union Cemetery to pay respects at two graves. In Section A, we find World War I hero Lieutenant Frederick Harvey. On March 27, 1917, in the village of Guyancourt, France, 
German soldiers opened fire at close range on Frederick's troop, causing heavy casualties. With total disregard for his own safety, Frederick ran forward well ahead of his men, jumped the barbed wire fence protecting the enemy position, shot the machine gunner and captured the gun. For distinguished service, he was awarded the Victoria Cross. Brave Frederick Harvey passed away in 1980, aged 91. Nearby in the Northwest Mounted Police Field of Honor is the remarkable Jerry Potts. Jerry was a legendary hunter, warrior, and guide of the Canadian Plains. He led the Northwest Mounted Police to notorious whiskey forts and helped them establish Fort McLeod. A hero to the Blackfoot Confederacy and a special constable, he taught both sides about the other, helped negotiate treaties, and kept the peace. They love him here so much in McLeod there is a street named after him. There's a Jerry Potts Elementary School in Calgary, and he's been on a postage stamp. Jerry Potts passed away in 1896. He was 55. We'll travel 100 kilometers west for our last stop, the peaceful Coleman Catholic Cemetery, where we find the grave of Rick Rippin. Born in nearby Blairmore, Rick was one of the NHL's toughest players, and he was a fan favorite for the Vancouver Canucks. His work ethic was unmatched, and he wasn't afraid to fight opponents 50 pounds heavier. Suffering from depression, Rick Rippon passed away in 2011 from suicide. He was 27 years old. The Canucks have since become committed to helping young people with mental illness. Thank you for watching this little taste of old Alberta as she once was. Please check out my other graveyard tour celebrating our dearly departed. I'm Jean-Claude Vancouver, and until next time, be good to the other. <laughs>